Hola, como estas? That's Spanish for hello and how are you? My name's Sam. Five months ago, I moved into the back of my pickup truck. Since then, I've made a couple of home renovations and I'd like to show those to you. This is my ride. It is a 2002 Tundra. I bought it used for $7,000 and she is my Japanese princess. The truck camper shell is a brand new snug top. It's the Highliner model. Before I show you my bedroom, we will start here in the living room. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I don't rent a storage unit, so everything I own in life is here in my pickup truck. In the back, I have a 45 liter Arctic cooler. I also have some water that I will drink from, clean dishes with, wash my hands. So far, my cooler's been working great. It holds food for a few days, has no problem retaining ice. I'll show you inside here. I always keep an ample supply of kimchi as well as beer. You just never know when you're going to need some. Underneath the basket over here is where I keep my meat products. My mother recently had one of our steers assassinated. This is him. He is delicious. Rest in peace. When I have guests over, I usually like to bring them up here to the entertainment room. Here I have access to not only an AC, but also a heater. I also have a cassette player. Currently, I am listening to the best of the village people. Here is where all the magic happens. This is my bedroom. Initially, I was going to do a wooden bed frame with a sliding drawer system, but I discovered I have the woodworking abilities of an ape. So instead, I have a metal bed frame. Instead of a box spring, I have a three quarter inch piece of plywood. And on top of all that is my twin mattress. I decided to go with the maroon and silver color scheme. To me, it just screams masculinity. I just had this carpet in my apartment that I was living in. I cut it to size and it fits just fine. Also for the tailgate, I found another carpet, measured it, and of course it's being held down with some duct tape. I keep some of my clothes here in these plastic drawers. Down at the bottom, I have my workout stuff. Middle drawer, I have some shirts. And up top is where I keep my socks, as well as my underwear. I use these bins for more clothes storage. And this one, I have my jeans, which haven't fit me in probably two years, as well as some shorts. This one over here, I keep my jackets, sweatshirts, and this little guy right here just has all sorts of random crap and tools. This big old bin also resides underneath my bed. Inside of it, I keep a lot of different cooking stuff, everything from paper plates, pans, spatulas, propane. These are a very important item. These are my baby wipes. If you have not tried using baby wipes, I highly recommend it. I keep this device nearby when I sleep. This is my emergency bathroom. It is pretty self-explanatory. If you identify with the male gender, you basically put your lower region inside here and you relieve yourself. So with this, I've used a couple of different techniques. When I first started, I kind of did this move where I'll just sort of lean over the bed and place it here. It's not a move I'd recommend though. Instead, I like to do what I call the Kaepernick. So with the Kaepernick, you just get down on one knee. It's more of a power stance. You have a lot more stability. Place her there, you're good to go. This here is my Coleman stove. I have it secured to the truck bed with a bungee cord. I do most of my cooking at work, but there are occasions where I'll have to bust this bad boy out and I'll just cook in some random parking lot or in a park. I also have this jet boil. Primarily I use that when I'm backpacking, but uh, every now and then when I'm craving a cup of joe, I'll use her. This is my latest purchase. I haven't gone fishing in years. I have zero idea what I'm doing, but some of my buddies are really into it, so they're going to take me out and teach me. It's being held up here with a couple of these different hooks. I got some of this Reflectix, measured it, cut it to size. I spray painted one side black and uh, I applied some Velcro strips to it and it just attaches nicely to my carpeted roof. I'm a big time sweater, I have always been. I also sweat quite a bit after I eat large quantities of meat. 
So to combat the meat sweats, as well as just the general heat, I have this little battery powered fan. Near the foot of my bed, I keep this TV dinner table. I'll set it up, the legs fold out. It just adds to the overall dining experience. As far as lighting goes, I have a few different options. The first here is this uh, rechargeable little lamp I have. Running along the side here, I have a LED light strip. I can change the color so I can set the mood to whatever I want. And up top here is the light that came with the camper shell itself. I keep my electronics charged with this. It came with the camper shell. It has two little outlets I could plug different USBs into. So I'll charge my iPod, my phone, as well as my GoPro from it. Up top here, I have some mosquito netting hanging from some hooks. The most comfortable way to sleep is with the back opened up and the netting prevents any bugs or mosquitoes from getting inside there with me. You may be wondering, what do I do about home defense? Well, on a recent strike team I was on, during some downtime, I whittled this together. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call a spear. Put some tape on it to improve the grip strength. I also slapped this uh, plastic wrapped hot dog on here. No real function, it's just more for the aesthetics. 